Hello, I'm the Retro Rooster, and in this new series, I'll analyse and give a unique point of view to the traditional portrayal and tropes associated with villains in movies, television, and more by talking about a specific villain from popular culture. In today's episode, we'll be talking about one of DC Comics' most famous antagonists, the multi billionaire CEO of LexCorp and the arch nemesis of the Man of Steel himself, Lex Luthor. Whilst there are numerous continuities with different backstories for Lex Luthor, we've decided to go into detail with the earliest one with what happened in Adventure Comics number 271. In it, Lex was once a simple farm boy from Smallville, until he saved a young Superman from a meteorite of kryptonite. After building a lab for Lex in reward for saving his life, Superman had to save Lex from a fire in the lab, which cost Lex all of his hair in the process. Ever since, Lex Luthor has been both a thorn in Kal-El's side and a staple in the world of both DC superheroes and supervillains ever since then. He's appeared in both movies and TV shows related to Superman. From Gene Hackman in the 1978 to Mr. Krabs himself Clancy Brown in the animated series, to Michael Rosenbaum in Smallville, to Jesse Eisenberg in the DCEU, whose performance has divided both fans and critics to this day. That concludes this week's episode of Villainology. This is the Retro Rooster saying goodbye.